Hi everyone, welcome to Crate Myrtle Row. My name is Lisa. Thank you for joining me today. We got another great thrift haul. <laughs> First thing is this large hamper and it has that little cushioned lid and the reason I got this you can see down in it is for storage in my craft room. I have some like wrapping paper that's longer than normal you know it's like the extra longer like the brown craft paper I have some stems like you know just the stick things that you put into a um, arrangement for looks or whatever that are just difficult to to store and find places you know to keep them organized so that I'm going to take the the lid off of that and just use them you know stand them up vertically in it right. next as y'all know I love collecting vintage purses and this one is an Enid Collins I don't know if you know who that is but it was back especially back in the 60s very popular for her designs it has the wooden bottoms and you know it's just all these little sequin things now this one's showing somewhere like some of the little sequins that the colors fading off of it and everything and the, you know it's just it's it's got some wear to it but I've always wanted one of these and they're very expensive to like on eBay and stuff I mean goodness I'm not gonna pay the prices some of them are 60 to 100 or more and I just when I came across this one I saw it and I'm like I'm pretty sure that's what that is although this one doesn't have a label in it anywhere I know I have a box one a wooden box one of hers and it does is signed by her so I thought well this is just one of the knockoffs because they did have like little kits back in the 60s that you could make your own that were similar to this but then when I did a little more research I'm pretty sure it is a authentic any college ones but so now I have my own <laughs> and I paid three dollars for it so can't beat that next I have this tin if you follow me on Instagram you've seen a picture I put up that day of just some things that I had found and not all of them are going to be in this haul some of them are going to be in another haul <laughs> but this was just it looked vintage but it's not it's a pioneer woman and I paid $3.50 for it and it's just you know the little enamel wear but I just love the color because of the vintage look and again these are great for storage in my craft room or they go in this room you know the colors and stuff so we have that and I love you know the old tins and stuff so here's this one this is actually cardboard like and then now the tops metal and it has that kind of primitive look but I just loved it it had the handles has these little clips that hold the top on and I just love things like this I can put it on top of my um, hutch over here on top of my well I don't think it'll quite fit on top of my cabinets is a little wider but I like to use them for storage things I've got hat boxes right now that I put all my little doilies and and small linens that I collect I put them in hat boxes so this will be something that I can use for that same purpose and I paid $3.99 for that all right let's move on to some linens found this little pillow and I thought it would be perfect for Valentine's Day and it's a little cross stitch got the little hearts and stuff and I paid a quarter for it and then this one this is just a vintage like needlepoint pillow again I paid a quarter for it and it's like a corduroy back but I just loved it because um, you know it had that very vintage look and of course I like putting things in my guest bedroom that's all vintage so got that one some more linens that I have and these were I'm guessing just little tea towels but I love the vintage look of them it was that one and then this one and then these four are all the same and they're actually like napkins and I just thought those were so pretty with the rose pattern and stuff find a cute little napkin ring or something like that to hold them in but these also would be great as pillows you know you could sew a couple of them together put some trim around it and you would have a perfect pillow and they're that good heavy like 
I don't know what you call this, like flower sack type material, like linen material. So, love those. All right. Next is this garland. It's just greenery. And I got it for $1.99. And, and y'all know, you can buy this at Walmart. Well, I don't know about Walmart. Um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, places like that. And it's usually, you know, even on their half prices, you're going to pay $12 for stuff like that. But I use this to fill in um, on top of my hutch over here. After I get my stuff decorated on top, I kind of go around and use this as filler to go around and fill in cracks and stuff. I use it on my entertainment center, on top of my fireplace. It's just down in shelves, just wherever you need to kind of just fill in the space and, and bring everything together. It looks good and it's nice to use that normally for that price. Here is another vintage purse. This one is like the wicker. The little leather, leather strap and the kind of vinyl inside. But y'all know I can't pass up my wicker purses and I think I paid like three dollars for this one also. I like this is more like a plastic though instead of a wicker um i might try to paint this one i have recently discovered the iod transfers paint transfers and this the different paints and the clay molds and stuff so i may use this one to um fancy up a little bit with some of those transfers it's like almost like stickers but it goes down into stuff so I don't know we'll see if I do I'll do a video on it but love that one all right next is this little wooden dough bowl now I'm almost 100% sure this is not a an authentic vintage dough bowl I'm pretty sure this is just some of these reproduction ones probably from Hobby Lobby but it was $2.99 and I still think they're cute laying around and one of the things I could do is I got this for $2.99. Um, little bag of the little paper mache, whatever, pumpkins and apples. And you can you know, use, use a bowl like this to hold things like that. So, you can always use those in my decor. Alright, next is this little shelf I got for $2. Just a little small wooden shelf. It's got the little plate rack on top. Little hangers back here. But I mean, it was 2 bucks. And this is the size of my bathroom window. It's a very, very small window. So my thought with it was to go above my window and then just give me a little space to add some my little tchotchkes there. <laughs> All right, this was part of the picture that I showed on Instagram of um, that day, but it's 350. It's an enamel wear picture. It's missing the, the little lid, but I just love the little carrots and peas and guess that's supposed to be maybe a radish or something or another carrot but I just thought that was so pretty love the red and then wear with a little flower arrangement or something and especially around Easter time with having the carrots and all but for 350 I just loved it and it says made in Poland on the bottom okay this next item didn't come from a thrift store it actually came from an antique store and I paid more for it I paid $12 but I just loved it and it's this little pitcher and saucer thing. Two reasons. I love drip glaze pottery. I have a, a big collection of drip glaze pottery. Used to have it in just about every color under the rainbow. <laughs> and, and displayed it on shelves like I have. What is in my kitchen now is my pantry. Used to be an open shelf. And so I started with all one color on each shelf. And I went down. And I loved it. And... Over the years, I've gotten rid of some of it. I've mo mainly kept mostly my pink and blue. But I have a few pieces of the, the yellow and gold. But this made me think of honeycomb the way it is. And I am about to change out all of this decor for my bee and chicken decor. <laughs> and I thought that would be pretty with that. Next is, and this is something I absolutely had a fit over. Is this, um, what do you call it, flow blue? Blue flow, blue, blue, I don't know. Anyhow, it's got the roosters on it. It has a marking on it. I don't know if this is authentic. 
or if this is a reproduction. But when I um, use Google Lens to look up that marking, it keeps coming up with these vintage Victorian ironstone or whatever. But for some reason, I just, I mean, looking at this, it doesn't feel like it's old enough. <laughs> It doesn't look old enough to me to be an authentic vintage one. I mean, it may, I don't know how long they made stuff with that um, trademark on it or whatever. But anyhow, I just love it because I do love the blue and white dishes and stuff. And I do use them here in my dining room in the fall, especially. But if you know anything about this kind of stuff, um, let me know below. Or where I can look it up because like I said I just did a looked at the logo stuff and it kept coming up everything vintage but but that there's no crazing on the um, enamel or whatever or the porcelain so I'm, I'm not thinking it's actually an old one I think it's a reproduction but it was $3.99 so I love it all right next is this little wooden recipe box and it was a dollar ninety nine I love this color love the little box and inside are three containers of unused recipe boxes so just different ones that you could still use I mean every one of them are unused but I just thought that was cool whether I use it for recipes or just something else I liked that box and then next are these little wooden, I don't know what you call them, like the pedestal. It's, it's not a pedestal. I don't know. <laughs> you know, they like grind stuff in the bowls. But I just thought they were neat. Um, I'm sure they're just some kind of reproduction pieces. But, you know, I have a collection of old utensils and stuff in a big authentic dough bowl that was my grandmother's. So just adding these to that collection would be nice and I paid like a dollar a piece for them and then this it was $2.75 can't hardly see it let me put it right there it's just one of those reproduction like the rug beaters and they look good hanging on pegs you know like back there if I wanted to hang it on a peg and it's the little pig and I just thought it was cute Then I have this um, for $1.99. It was just this little green ring holder. And I just loved the look of it and the vintage look of it. It's not vintage, but it looks kind of like one. To put in my um, guest bedroom, I also um, use that room to store a lot of my jewelry. Like I put my jewelry box in there and I have a lot of things hanging around in there. And so I can use that on the dresser or something. And speaking of jewelry, I got these bracelets and I think they were $2 a piece. So I love that one. I love the stretchy type bracelets because I have a bigger wrist. So, you know, them bangle type are harder for me to get on. And then this one is like a aged copper or something. So love those. And another thing that I will use for jewelry, and I found this for eight dollars is stuff like this and this one actually says hand decorated 22 karat gold so i guess that's supposed to be actual gold there but it's just one of those you know people use them for food and stuff decorative trays but i will use them to like lay bracelets around in some smaller stuff there just use it to hold all my jewelry y'all know i love all my jewelry stuff so that's currently sitting in my guest bedroom on the dresser using it for that and then I had this little purse I mean just like a little change thing I think I paid 50 cent for it these are perfect in my vintage purses that are so small you can't use a regular size wallet in them so these are perfect to still carry you know my license my money whatever I need in my vintage purses so I'm always glad to find little small things like that and lastly I'm pretty sure yes lastly is this and I paid um, it says five dollars on it but I think it was half price and it's this little vintage lady head looks like a little, it's supposed to be a thimble but I collect the lady head vases 
and I had never seen like the little thimble and I thought that was so cute so got that that's all I have for today's haul and um if y'all leave me a comment below let me know what you like best which what, what was your favorite thing and like I said if you if you know anything about that um blue and white dish the flow blue blue flow whatever it's called <laughs> let me know something about so I can maybe look up on that I'd probably have maybe one other thrift haul coming up within a, a week or two um I'm, I'm, I'm trying to film as many of my thrift hauls as I can and then I'm gonna have um, the decorating stuff like where I'm changing out this room decor changing out my living room decor so I'm not sure where I will disperse the thrift hauls in with those videos so things are not always just in the order that you see them so just keep that in mind but I hope y'all have a very blessed day. If you don't follow me on Instagram or Facebook, please come on over there and join me. Like I've said many times, you will get to see things on there sometimes before you get to see them here. So y'all have a very blessed day. Bye.